So today we're going to learn about a Net3 ACN gateway and how to set it up and be able to control it and change it so that the DMX ports on the bottom can be configured to be inputs or outputs depending on what you're trying to accomplish. In our case we're actually trying to have this node become an input so that we could plug a Mac in there and control the lighting in a venue with an ETC setup in there. So this node is off currently and it's not plugged into Ethernet. So if we just power it up without a network on there, it will boot up into its default mode and which will just assign itself an IP address uh, and it won't really be part of a network. In a venue you're going to normally it'll already be set up as a network and so this step will not be something you normally would have to do. All you're really going to do is use this little button, the center little white button here, to uh, figure out what the IP address is of the network. And this will give you an idea of where to start there. So it's requesting an IP address, which in our case is going to come up with a 1691, which is really just a self-assigned address, and it will not work trying to change, use the software to change it and stuff. The two numbers, the two ones, mean that port one is set as an output and that the other port two is also set as an output. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to uh, power it back down again by unplugging the little cable here. And I'm going to plug in my little network cable, which I just have uh, hooked up to an airport express base station going to a, a switch which lets you kind of break out those IP addresses coming out of that airport base station. Uh, so one's going to the node, one's going to the PC, and the other one is going into the airport express. Alright, so now we have this thing powered off again, but we have it hooked up to a real network now. We're going to power that back up again. And this time he'll get an IP address from the router, which will be a legit IP address, and the PC will also be receiving a address within that same network, so they can chat with each other, and they'll be able to, you'll be able to interface and make changes to this node. Um, so now you can see we have an address of 10.0.0.31. Both things are set as outputs. Both DMX. Uh, interfaces on the bottom there and if we scroll through here by hitting this this the bigger button here you'll see that it'll give you information about about this thing um, so it's saying that you know port 1 is output SACN streaming ACN uh, port 1 RDM is disabled that doesn't matter for us right now port 2 is also an output and its RDM is disabled again fine with us its dynamic IP right is 10.0.0.31 and you can also you want to check its subnet you can see that the subnet is 255.255.255.0 and that's important because each place where there's 255 requires that your IP address on the other equipment you're working on matches so in our case that would be 10.0.0 would have to match and that last number would be different for each device connected to that. And gateway is really just the router IP address. And I TCF TP server, not sure I'm 100% sure what that is. None of this, this is all just more information. It'll cycle back through again to, uh, to that information. So we are back at the beginning. So you can see that 10.0.0 .0 would all have to be the same on this network to get this software to talk to each other. All right, so you're going to want to access ETC Net3 Concert on the console. Uh, hopefully it is already pre-installed in this case. And if not, I usually carry it on a jump drive with me. You can download it from ETC, uh, in ETC's website. Uh, we'll have a link for that listed. So um, when you run that, again, you'll be running this from the lighting console's computer. Um, and if, when you open it up, it'll access the data on the network. So here we are in Net3 Concert. If you come over here and you go to Network Map, and then it'll scan and set up the network for you. 
takes a minute or two for that to happen. So here is your network setup we have. We only have the one node in in this particular demonstration, but normally there will be a lot of these nodes around. So you kind of want to be able to figure out which one is which. Uh, one way to, the easiest way to do that is to roll over the icon in the network map and you can see its IP address here and that will tell you um, you know what what node is what because when you do that you can see the node uh, where it's located on stage and read its IP address from the screen uh, on the on the node itself so we have dot three one here and we know from from looking at this one here when we roll over it or click on it that um, its IP is uh, the 3.1 as well. So that's the guy we want to work on. So you double click on that, and from here you can see that you can see one, the green arrow pointing to the, the one, uh, the little DMX port one, and the DMX port two. Uh, if you click on that, the number two, you can see that's, there, that's an output. This is also set up as an output here, and that's reflected in the arrows on the uh, interface right here. The two arrows to the right means that those ports are each set as outputs. So if we switch the first port here to an input, um, you're going to flip that. And when we do that, it'll change down here as well. Um, once I hit the uh, Apply Changes button down here. So you shouldn't have to mess with the universes or the addresses there. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try to control universe 1 in this case. So you could change that to what universe you want to work on as well if you're trying to access those lights instead. So once I hit the apply changes here, then down here, this thing you see has switched to, to be an input. So then in that case, now you could plug in your, your software, your computer into that DMX port and it would be an input into their DMX system.